ever date a guy shorter than you? Um, no. I prefer 6'4 and up. 6'4? How tall are you? I'm 5'4. You need a whole foot? I need a whole foot. So why do girls like guys that are that tall? I usually don't do this, but what, what we talking about right now? What we talk? What we talking about right now? Huh? What we talking about right now? To offer like a different type of security, like, like I mean, you, we the almost the same height. Like you cool though, but like, I'm cool. If somebody come up to us and they trying to fight my boyfriend, they gonna be scared because he's tall as you know, like a little bit of biggerness, kind of like. I'm five six and I've knocked out people that are over six feet. What are you talking about? You sound stupid. What are you? What are you? What are you talking about right now? I have slept is that are over six feet. You sound crazy. Just cause this is tall don't mean they can fight. Throw you off a little bit. Hey, so then how is dating for you in this generation? Well, like I'm a bigger woman, so you know, like a lot of men are insecure or they worry about what a lot of people got to say. Like, if it's just us in our relationship, why are you worry about what people got to say, you know? Because okay. I would treat you good, but I'm not fitting, I'm not going to be hidden. I'm not going to be undercover or, like, anything like that. So if we can't be out in the open and you're not, if you're not proud of me, then it's, it's a done deal. Yo, how you judging folks for their height, but then you feel some type of way people judging you for your weight? Make it make sense. Yo, I usually don't even do that scale shit, but look at the pot calling the kettle black. How dare you? How long should a man last in bed? Um, I think between anywhere, maybe like 30. Dang. So, I would say like 25 to 30 minutes. Dang. I ain't Bitch. What? What? That's the episode of Family Matters. You done lost your mind. Great. Enough for us, like, both to come, but not to be, like, super worn out and tired. Great. It gets a little boring after yeah. that. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing Definitely. you could do. Yeah. How long should a man last in bed? Five to ten minutes. Five to ten minutes. You know what? Let me break. Let me do this. Ten to fifteen minutes of foreplay. No, nah, that's too much. That's too much. Five to ten minutes of foreplay. Five to ten minutes of stroking. If ain't no foreplay and she want to get straight to it, five to ten minutes. I feel as though if dude lasting 30 to 45 minutes inside of you, that trash. I mean, this night can't get any worse, man. You got Mason Rudolph in my girlfriend's DMs as I'm watching him absolutely sell my Dolphins money line. Every bet I have. I mean, the guy's bum. I don't care. I told you it was good, though. I, dude, he, he can have you. I would take a Dolphins win tonight than you. I'm not even kidding. Yo, this is such a fuck. He does not mean that. Stop the cap. He can have you. I would take a Dolphins win and he can have you. You sound crazy. Bad game. I want to go home. I just, I want to go home. There is nothing like having somebody that's famous in your girl's DM. Was Instagram famous? So an Instagram famous person hopped in my wife DMs, and when he realized it wasn't going nowhere, he unfollowed her. <laughs> I don't cook no meal from scratch for no man until I'm a wife. If you hungry, I got some cat, and if you starving, I got some butt. I thought this was going someplace else. I don't even know how to respond to that. Um. I mean, she basically saying she ain't cooking. She she's gonna feed you though. But <laughs> ladies that believe in not doing wife duties until you become a wife, do you go to a job interview and tell them I'm not gonna show you that I'm qualified until you hire me? Is that what y'all do when y'all go to job interviews? This girl that I haven't talked to in about six weeks, she hit me up and she was like, "Hey, do you want to go to the gym? It's my leg day and I don't have a partner." We can get Chipotle to go. I said, hold on. Chipotle to go? <laughs> <laughs> of course I want to go. <laughs> See, me being a pro validator, I said, I pray I can keep up with you. I know how your leg days get. I know you're going for a PR and you're going to hit it. I've never worked out with a girl a day in my life. <laughs> Yo, a pro validator is crazy.
it means that he's gonna gas you up something serious. Nothing but 93 high octane. <laughs> You know what she said? She said, if you're there, you're going to motivate me to hit a PR. It's just something about you. There's nothing about me. I'm a regular guy. <laughs> and she added in, plus, I know you're not going to let the bar fall on my neck. I said, of course I'm not. In order to validate feelings, you must say, of course. Now, me being a gentleman, I said, look, I'm ready. But after we lift, are we going to get Chipotle then go to your car or my car? Like, what's the plan? She said, no, you're just going to come over and eat the Chipotle and we can watch a movie. We're not eating that Chipotle, and we're not watching the movie. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, no, I didn't even ask if you were cool with that. I don't want to be too forward. Are you cool with that? I said, of course. <laughs> <laughs> In order to validate feelings, all you have to do is say, of course. What do you think she wants to do when we get back to her place? She want to ask if of course. She asked if valid. Of course. This girl that I have. Fellas. Fellas. The fact that he's doing this and he's single, he's in a league of his own. Because once you get married, once you get in a relationship, you're going to learn that in some cases, you got to feed your woman some of that 93 high octane. This might sound shady. You know when you're trying to get your thing wet. So what you do? From the morning you wake up, you gassing. You at work, you calling, you gassing. I miss you text messages. You listening to all her stories. And you know women, ladies... Y'all are very long-winded, and half the time, we listening to y'all talk, we only picking out certain words so we can respond to. But when you try and get your meat wet, fellas, right? We we involved. I get your point, but there's like eight inches to get through. Do you know what I'm saying? Like if I stick my hand up my crack, my hand fully disappears, like fully disappears like before you even have a chance to enter the cave you're already eight inches deep like before you even enter okay so like what is one doctor gonna pull one cheek and another doctor's gonna pull another cheek this is a serious question okay like what if i need a colonoscopy how the fuck are they going to do it <laughs> i get your point yo as soon as white women started getting ass, the way that they be flexing be crazy. This is such a simple flex. She's basically saying her ass is too big to get a colonoscopy, right? All right, okay, let's talk about it now. Let's ask something simple. How do you wipe your ass? Huh? After you done doing a number two, what is the procedure for you to get your ass clean since it's so goddamn big? I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. If you're telling me the average man does not make over 100k, why? how are women marrying men for money? If you're telling me the average the average income is 50k, how are women marrying for money? Please answer that for me. Somebody please answer for answer it. Please answer that. A lot of these people who are requesting that they man make six figures, they want their man to pay all the bills. They just want to sit in the house and not do nothing and his money is our money, my money is my money. Honestly, there are people that think like this, but the internet makes it a lot worse because that is all the internet is showing us. The internet is not showing us the women that are on the other side who think like, I don't mind holding it down for my man until he get on his feet or until his dream is realized. The internet isn't really showing us that. They're literally just showing us gold diggers when i was 19 i dated a guy who was 34 he told me he was 28 but he was 34 but i think about the fact that one time he took me to probably to show me off whatever i was pretty cute back then to his friend's house and his friend had a 12 year old daughter when we got over there the 12 year old daughter i saw was reading the newest harry potter book and i was really into harry potter back then and the books were being released in real time that's how old i am i was like oh my god you know how far have you gotten he and this girl started talking about harry potter for like an hour and then that man continued to date me for a few more months do you hear what I'm saying? Like, you ta you took me over to spend time with your peers, another 35-year-old man. And me, a 19-year-old girl, went over and related more 
to the 12 year old because we both liked the same reading material. I'm not saying that he is a criminal. I'm not calling him any names or saying he needs to go to jail. I have more in common mentally with a 12 year old than I did you and your dumb friends. What did we have in common? If you are only looking to date people when you're in your 30s, they don't have a, a similar mental capacity as you as far as like maturity. Yeah, you're kind of a predator. I'm not right, saying every age predator. gap is like you're a predator. I'm saying you are after predator. we left, and I spent the whole time talking about Harry Potter with your friend's kid. Did you reassess your life? No. Or did you think nothing of it? How old would that man be today? It's 55. I just remember that he gave me drugs and alcohol too. So, yeah, you, you're a criminal. That's predatory behavior. 34, dating a 19-year-old? You're a predator. I'm sorry, my boy. You're a predator. It's a lot of dudes out here who can't get women their age. So, they date younger and this goes for like when I was in high school and I remember dudes used to be pulling up to the high school. They 26, 27 years old and they pulling up to pick up their 16 year old girlfriends. See, back in the day, times was different. As the guys who were actually in school with these girls, we used to be jealous. We used to be like, man, this old ass nigga. We didn't know that these young girls were being groomed. We didn't know that this man is a predator. We didn't think about it like that. We definitely didn't think about it like that. These dudes used to be cashing out on these young girls, bro. And to be honest, now that I'm a parent, I honestly want to know, where were y'all parents at? Where were y'all parents at? You coming home with all these fancy clothes and all these fancy purses and, and your parents ain't, where you got that from? I, I can't say one thing, though. It was a young lady I went to school with. She was dating a 26-year-old, and she was 16. Her mother confronted her about her boyfriend, and her and her boyfriend tied her mother up and slit her throat. One thing I hate about dating, yeah, is when you're speaking to someone new, and they're making you miss your ex. Like, I high-key hate that guy, but you're making him look so good right now. Why? Like, did he send you? One thing I hate about dating, yeah, is when you're speaking to someone new. Yeah, I, I, remember, I remember them days. I remember them days. But shoot, I'm married to the person that was my ex. But I do remember them days, bro. When we broke up, I was sad. I'm not gonna lie, I was hurt. But I wasn't gonna take the breakup laying down. I was out here in these streets. And one thing about being out here in these streets, the people you come across are very interesting. I came across a lot of beautiful young women who weren't there mentally. One thing I loved about my wife, who was then my girlfriend, who was then my ex, she was very ambitious. I didn't realize how much I loved her ambition until I started dating females who had no ambition. I'm talking about all they want to do is just sit in the house all day. They were working dead-end jobs and didn't have no plan for the future. Couldn't wait till Friday and Saturday so they can go to the club and just repeated that cycle. Even at, at a young age, Danae always had a plan for her future. She actually did it, bro. She went, she got her undergraduate, then she got her master's, then she worked for the CDC, and then she was like, you know, I'm into skincare. She fucking... Quit working at the CDC, started working with a lady that she looked up to who was like one of the top estheticians in Atlanta. And she was like, oh, you know what? I feel as though I can run my own business. And she went and started her own business. Like, you know, I love, that's one thing I love about my wife, bro. She's very ambitious. So I feel as though if I dated somebody else now, like let's say we got divorced and I started dating somebody else right now, it'll be very hard, bro. Especially if you don't have, like that's going to be one of the major qualifications. Then my wife don't be in drama. She don't be in drama. I be talking to like my boys who aren't married and they be out here dating and they be telling me certain stories and I be like, damn, that's what it's like out here? I better count my blessings.